Are you wondering if you can use ClickFunnels 2.0 for customer management so that you don't have to constantly switch between different platforms and could even save on some subscriptions? In fact, you can, because just recently the ClickFunnels team launched a set of the CRM features which offer a lot of possibilities. In this video, we will go over the main features you would expect to have in CRM software and see if ClickFunnels 2.0 offers them and how they are implemented. If you can't wait to try the CRM features in ClickFunnels 2.0 yourself, you can find a link to a free trial in the description of this video. And if you use our link, you will get our ClickFunnels 2.0 course as a bonus. And if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0, in the description of this video, you will find a link to a package deal that will help you save up to 50% on your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription. Now let's get right to it. One of the most important features in a CRM is a contact management. You should be able to create detailed contact records and store customer information. In ClickFunnels 2.0, you can do it in the Customer section. If we go to the Customers, Contacts, you will see the list of all your contacts that you have in ClickFunnels 2.0. You can either add a new contact manually by clicking Add Contact, or you can import contacts if before you were using a different autoresponder and just want to import your email list here. When you click on the contact, you will see the detailed information about this contact. And not just their name, email address, their physical address, phone number, and so on, but you will also see their activities. If you go to the Activity tab, you will see all the actions they took on your funnel pages. For example, they view the page, they opted in on your funnel, they entered the workflow. In the Marketing tab, you will be able to see in which workflows they are currently in, which broadcasts were sent to them, and which calendar events they registered for. Then you will see their order and payment history, enrollments into the courses. You can also manually add an enrollment from here. If they got access to any of your digital assets or you fulfilled some orders to them. Also, if there are any opportunities associated with this contact and if they scheduled any appointments with you. To better organize your contacts in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can use segments. When you create a segment, you can set specific conditions, which will be used to filter the contacts. And when you click on the name of this segment, you will see all the contacts that match these conditions. Of course, you can also search for contacts and sort them using different conditions. The next feature you would expect from the CRM is a pipeline. You should be able to easily create different pipelines, manage the stages of the pipeline, and attach associated values. In ClickFunnels 2.0, it's possible thanks to the feature called Opportunities. In the Opportunities section, you can create multiple pipelines and switch between them by using this drop-down. For example, I have one pipeline here, which is shown as a Kanban board. Each pipeline stage has the close probability assigned to it. And based on this percentage, you will see that the value of your opportunity changes when it moves in the pipeline. In ClickFunnels 2.0, you can create your opportunities or, in other words, prospects manually by clicking Add Opportunity or automate this process using Workflow. For example, if you want to add a new opportunity every time somebody opts in on your funnel, you would create a workflow for that, set a trigger, which will be opt-in, select the funnel and the page where the contact will opt-in, and then add the action to this workflow, which will be called Create or Move Opportunity. We select a pipeline here, then select the stage where the contact should be added, select who will be responsible for this opportunity, then you can set the name for this opportunity using the merge tags and add the value. And this way, whenever somebody opts in on the page that we selected in the trigger, they will be added as an opportunity in the pipeline. You can also use this action to move an opportunity in the pipeline. If you toggle this off, a new opportunity will be created for each contact. And if you toggle it on, it means that if you already have this contact in a pipeline, it will move to the next step. And last but not least, you can create simple automations directly from the Opportunities dashboard and execute specific actions when a contact enters or exits the stage. 
you would just click this icon, then click Add, select a trigger, and select what should happen when this action is triggered. Then you activate this automation, and every time a contact enters this stage in the pipeline, a note will be added to this opportunity. And before we move further, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. The next CRM feature you may need is appointment setting. And it's also available in ClickFunnels 2.0 out of the box. No need to use Calendly or Equity and pay for an additional subscription anymore. Using appointments in ClickFunnels 2.0, you can create free or paid events, customize the look of the booking page that your customers will use to schedule an appointment with you, and even create event notifications that will be sent before or after this event. For example, you could send a reminder 15 minutes before the appointment, or after the appointment, you can send an email with some specific links. ClickFunnels 2.0 offers different event types, from one-on-one -on -one to group events to collective events and the round-robin event, which would mean that new appointments are automatically distributed among the members of the sales team. You will see all the appointments in the Scheduled Events tab and you will be able to modify them from here to reschedule or cancel this appointment. You can also switch between all the events in this workspace, so for all team members, and only your events. Another important ClickFunnels 2.0 feature that makes customer management and lead nurturing better is the ability to manage all communication from different channels in one place. And this place in ClickFunnels 2.0 is called Message Hub. Once you set up Message Hub, you can connect different communication channels like a live chat widget for the website, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, SMS, and so on. And if you want to build a custom channel, you can create it using the API channel. When somebody sends you a message using any of the channels, it can be a messenger or a live chat widget from your site, you will see an unread conversation here and also the source where the message comes from. You can either reply to it straight away or assign it to another agent. I find it extremely convenient because you don't have to switch between different applications. You will have all your communication here in the message hub, no matter from which channel message is coming from, and you can reply directly from here. You can use message hub for your support via a live chat widget and sales communication, and you can even create reply templates and macros. On top of that, you can integrate message hub in your workflows using actions from the message hub as a trigger. For example, if an agent started a conversation in the message hub or responded, and the same applies to the contact if they started the conversation or responded to it. And you can also add an action to a workflow, which will automatically send a message hub message to a contact using a specific channel that you select. Last but not least, your CRM should have some marketing tools so that you can nurture contacts into customers. ClickFunnels 2.0 definitely has an advantage here over other CRM tools. You can build pretty much everything that you need for your business using ClickFunnels 2.0. You can build your site, funnels, blog, courses, even a store, create email sequences and so much more. The fact that you have all of that and your CRM with communication tools in one platform gives you a lot of flexibility and opportunities. You can easily trigger various actions based on the steps in the customer journey, and you don't need to use a handful of other tools, for example Zapier, to connect it all together. Everything is already inside your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. I think you will agree that ClickFunnels 2.0 has all the core features that you need for customer management. And the fact that all of them are available in one platform is a huge advantage. If you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0 to build your funnels anyway, you actually don't have to pay for another CRM software and you can just do everything inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. However, if you're looking for a more sophisticated CRM, I see that ClickFunnels 2.0 may be missing some features. So if the following things are crucial to you, you may either submit feature requests to the ClickFunnels team 
or check out other CRM tools. First, at this moment, ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't offer the daily progress overview. Salespeople should be able to check specific metrics on a daily basis, for example, their progress to date against quarter, how many deals they have in the pipeline, at which stage, and what outstanding tasks they need to complete. Second, there is no task management possibility for the sales team. A lot of CRM systems include task management capabilities so that salespeople know who they need to call, which follow-ups they need to send on the day-to-day -day basis. Using a separate task management software for that would just add unnecessary effort. That's why it's much better to have this feature inside your CRM tool. Next, a lot of sales representatives prefer to have mobile access to CRM applications. At the moment, ClickFunnels doesn't offer a mobile app. Last but not least, ClickFunnels 2.0 has detailed analytics and reporting for the funnels, but not for the customer management. Some essential CRM reports would be the number of opportunities over a specific period, individual sales agents' performance, including the numbers of leads closed within specific timeframes, outbound call statistics, and so on. Now let's sum it up. I believe ClickFunnels 2.0 offers all the necessary features to effectively manage customers. On top of that, you have extensive marketing tools available in the same platform and can automate or connect things much better. But if you're looking for a more advanced CRM tool, you may need to consider other software. However, you should keep in mind that CRM-specific tools most likely will not offer features like workflows, funnel builder, course builder, and so on. And you will need to use yet another software for that. As always, it all depends on your business needs. I hope that this video provided you with the insights into the CRM features of ClickFunnels 2.0, and now you can make a better decision about which tool to use for customer management in your business. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And I will see you in the future videos. Bye-bye.